Instagram Rising, everyone. It's Shalom, and I'm back. And, um, yeah, so I don't know. I think I just wanted to come on for a minute. You know, I did those videos earlier, kind of like right almost out of my sleep. And, um, yeah, look, I'm over here. <laughs> I can't stand it. <laughs> I keep on hearing stuff. All right. So, anyway. So, I don't know. I just feel like, again, I just wanted to come on and talk. Just no Bible, no nothing real quick. Just talk. Because I feel like, you know, after I did those videos earlier, I'm like, okay, whew, I can kind of like breathe a little bit. I went and did a couple things for myself. Said, you know what? Just go ahead, you know, calm down. You know, I'm just really funny. I think about my energy. I really am. And there's only like... I'm real specific. And so I don't like feeling like violated in that sense, especially being someone again, that it's not like I've been like in tune with this whole entire spiritual mm, essence or whatever of this for a very long time. I don't know, it's just like, um, yeah. So I just feel like, I don't know. I feel like I'm at a point right now where I'm just like taking a break, I think maybe. You know what I'm saying? Um, and f just focusing on me. I, I'm still waiting for stuff to come in or whatever for my um, for my boxes or whatever that I'm making. Um, and I'm still just like, you know what I'm saying? Trying to figure out like what's going on from here on, you know, on this journey. Um, so it's just like, almost like right now, just like realizing that a lot of stuff got to go. <laughs> and I think today, you know, it's just been having me a little bit emotional. Um, it's just been, yeah, it's been having me a little bit emotional, but not in a way where it's like a, you know, because it's like a free-flowing let go. You know? It's not, and excuse me, because I just did like a five-minute makeup, so I didn't do any like high, highlighting or anything like that, but, you know, it is what it is. I was just coming here for the day and I just wanted to already just be having something on. So anyways, but it's all right. Okay. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, I just felt like I just wanted to come on and talk. No cards, no book, no nothing. And I feel like it's just, um, I feel like that just in general right now. Like I don't even want to do nothing really, but just focus on again, ideas. I'm about to start like putting my little cards, um, designing my little cards or whatever for my boxes or whatever. Um, and I'm just sitting here, I'm away from home and I'm just like, you know, well, for a couple more hours anyway. And, um, yeah. And I don't know. I just, I guess I'm just like all in my feelings about everything. And I feel like, you know, on this platform, I've been pretty open as open as possible without involving people. And I felt a little bad about, you know, what I, uh, not necessarily because, again, I feel like I was in a respectful, in a, a good sight or whatever. All right. When I talked about it. But I just noticed how people like eat stuff up, you know. Um, and so it's just I don't want to do that. But it's just like the personal. The, the It's just like, I don't know. It's just like almost like source put me in this situation to be able to share it this way many people have other ways of seeing many people have other ways of explaining and telling their stories and telling other stories and things like that and then just unfortunate for me being somebody that likes to be private to feel like your whole life is like put on blast or whatever and i feel like again it's not just me you know it's the people that was around me it's other people you know what i'm saying it gotta be the divine masculine as well i mean it's like almost like some you know adam and eve type shit you know what i'm saying um, but I think that Adam and Eve, I don't think that we're, well, again, it's just my opinion that we're talking about a group of people, um, with a certain makeup. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. I, to me, it seems like, uh, it, that's what it's talking about in the biblical text. It's a group of people, um, that have a certain type of makeup, um, and again, it does make me think about those who would have some type of gifts or whatever, 
possibly telepathic or some other kind of means of communication. But anyways, regardless of the fact, I feel like, I don't know, I'd be feeling like I'm stubborn, but at the same time, I'm just like sealing, like I've, I've, I think I've severed a lot of things. Some things possibly didn't have to be, but just for right now, I just had to really, really go there. I had to take myself there and I had to go there and I had to find that something, right? And be able to deal with that because I feel like there's a lot of changes that are actually physically going on. So being more of a fixed sign, I feel like that has me, you know, like in some kind of a like, mm -hmm. it's like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, get ready. <laughs> it's like, it's, that's the part of the ride where you can't change your mind, where the seatbelt is strapped in and it's, it's going. So that's where I'm at. And then just really actually trying to figure out how to protect my energy. Because again, I feel like after this whole thing, it's like, it's going to be closed off and not in a bad way, you know, not in a bad way where I'm not going to be, you know, like whatever. But when it comes to this whole like twin flame and this whole energy like this, I can't afford it. <laughs> I just can't. I can't afford it. I can't afford it. I don't know anymore. Like I just was just thinking about it today and the, and it just like this whole three of swords just, just keeps coming. And it's just like, you know, it's just like if, even when I hear I like I'm, I hear like um, another soul sibling or whatever, um, share a story about like somebody's coming. I just turn. <laughs> Ooh. Like coming in fast. <laughs> Hold on. I just turned the video off because I don't want to, I just don't. I just don't. Like, I just feel like I'm over it. I'm over it. Oof. Whew. And I feel like it's just like, you know, more um, pain than pleasure. No, it was more pleasure than pain. Okay, I won't go there. I won't. But I'm the type of person very... I'm very specific. I'm very picky. I'm very direct. When I want something, I want it. I see it. That's what I want. If I can't have it, I don't want nothing else. And so this is the type, you know what I'm saying? And that's the thing. It's all right. You know what I'm saying? Something else may come and make her just, you know, possibly change that. But it's like, no, because I, but I'm just trying to figure out, you know what I'm saying? And it's not even necessarily like the individual or the entity in me no it's more i have to figure out more about what this really is i need to be able to hone in on what specific energy is around me like i don't want to play no games i never did but i feel like a lot of people want to play games with my situation or just leave me like in certain situations <laughs> And I feel like, you know, um, like maybe even a hidden or on a back burner or if I can't have you or, oh, you're, it's really, I really don't want you. You know, it's all this kind of energy. So it kind of just leaves somebody like me that like, I already know that, you know, I mean, I'm not thinking I'm the best or nothing like that, or whatever, but I'm just knowing that I'm worthy of whatever it is. And what for me has been, hence, you know, the cinnamon or red hair. For me, it's been just really a, a, a companion, somebody to be able to commune with, that can understand, that actually knows how to, you know, communicate and, you know, things like this. This is like, like really, really seriously for me, because of my situation, that's what I thought it was in the first place. You know what I'm saying? So certain things just started changing or whatever. And so I was just like, oh, okay, what is this? Okay. And then it was just like, okay, I like that. <laughs> I like this. Okay. Okay. That's that. And again, I, I feel like I'm at a time where I just, you know what I'm saying? I have to like, it's just like kind of like free flowing and it's kind of like letting go, but I still feel energy around. But it's like, you know, there must be something else. I like, you know, I like to know all the details. I like to know, not maybe not all of them, but I like to know a lot of details before I go into anything, right? And I don't like, like 
like hovering, like especially if it's a, some some energy or whatever or entity or person that I don't don't necessarily know. You know what I'm saying? To be in my energy or whatever. So it's just this that. It just is that. It's either that or it's just nothing for me. And I'm not even mad. You know what I'm saying? Like, again, I'm just one of those goofy people that be like, oh, you know, even if it ain't me, I hope somebody happy and I really mean it. That's just me. So that's why I probably don't <laughs> never, you know. <clears throat> that's why I finished last. But again, it's okay with finishing last for me because I've observed a lot and I'll know a lot about the situation. You know what I'm saying? To be able to help the next person or even know about it myself, you know, going into something in the future. So again, that's just it. I just, I feel like this, I'm just there. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm feeling good right now. I'm feeling happy a little bit. Like, I don't know. I'm feeling nervous. You know, I'm, I'm experiencing things I've never. And it's just like, you know, I can't even think. But the fact that, you know, the, the whole time, I get overjoyed when I feel like, Regardless of whatever it was, and if I can't put it all together, <laughs> you know, we be over here. I'm worried about being subdued and replenished. <laughs> but a lot of this energy is like, yeah, that's what you do. <laughs> It's like that. So I don't know. It's like, I don't know. I don't know. It's like some grown, you know what I'm saying? I'm still like a, a kind of like a, you know, a g girl, you know, like, I don't know. Like, what's that Britney Spears song? Not yet a woman or something. But I really am. But it's just like, I don't know. Okay. It's just, I'm grateful. You know what I'm saying? It's just gratitude. So, again, it's like, oh, and what's the India Ivory song? And it's so funny because, like, and that was actually my wedding song. <laughs> the truth. And so, it's funny. It kind of be, like, rubbing me kind of, like, the wrong way when it come on. And it remind me of, again, the connection I do feel with the Divine Masculine, especially at that point where it's just like, um. Yeah, he is the truth. And it's like, I don't know if that's what he see, but that's what I see. But again, it's just like, I feel like I'm just so appreciative. And just like, even like, you know, it's not like needing somebody to like level up. But it's like, I kind of feel like I, you know, just even if it was a friendship or a companion or whatever, that was, um, you know, played a part in some of this. And I just, you know, like I said, Regardless of anything, you never know what can happen. You know, it's just a lot going on these days. So I felt like I just wanted to say what I had to say. It's just like as soon as it's like, I don't know, as soon as everything was like locked in, it was just like, you know, I, I don't I don't mind. Like, I don't know the whole story. I don't know the whole everything. But, you know, even if the person is or even if they ain't or if they would, you know what I'm saying? I'm just happy to have known, you know what I'm saying, or been in tune with this energy. Because, again, like I said, nothing's been in the 3D or nothing, like, again, tangible for me. And so that's another hard thing for me, too. Because I'm like, um, you know what I'm saying? Give it to me, like, <laughs> in front of me. Like, I want to sit down, you know, like, that's just what. And I'm not saying, I ain't saying give that. Okay, well, listen, okay? I'm not saying that. What I'm saying, <laughs> mm -mm. what I'm saying is I like stuff, like, Tan no, I like tangible, okay? I like physical. And and if if it's been so long with something and and nothing is physical, then I, I just get like distracted. But but I'm still like, you know, that person is still like a piece of me. It's like he's a piece of me. And it's just like whatever. And I just can't not have that piece. But you know, and sometimes during the journey, I'm thinking like, damn. You know, with all the other energy that was coming in, it's like, actually, this person really don't even like you. They hate you. So I went through bats and times where I was crying because I'm like, my gosh, I love this energy so much. Like, I just, you know, I do. And it's just like, 
this person probably hates me. <laughs> and and so again, it just was like, you know what I'm saying? Going through it, it just was too traumatic for me because I, I, I'm a little bit rough, maybe sometimes the exterior, but I'm really not. I mean, I'm really, I guess, a sweet person. And I think this opened me up to be, see, and see, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> You know, it's just a lot changed, okay? <laughs> and we ain't gonna sit here and just say who, what, and how because I can't put it all to one, right? I've had different, you know, um, I feel connections and guides and stuff like that. So there's three, you know what I'm saying, major guys that I feel connected to, uh, maybe soul contracts or something like that or whatever. Um, I've never met them or anything like that. So it's just like, um, you know, and I don't, I don't know, maybe I'm not never going to, but at the end of the day, you know, they, regardless of how I felt or how, you know, I had to kind of navigate through what was going on or whatever. Um, and who was being like cool, shady, like maybe a little bit envious, maybe one day, you know what I'm saying? Or maybe some kind of way or whatever. But I just felt like, again, it just scared me, I think, to think that this the, the person that I feel like I'm getting this streamline of pure at one point in time, mm, something, okay? That was maybe a little scary, but not in a bad way. To think, oh my goodness, I was just like nothing else, no one knows nothing else. And this person probably like hates me or whatever. And I'm just like, oh my goodness. And so that's like, for me, it's just like, I'm going through enough right now. You know, there's a lot of things about to be changing. Some things, you know, very scary for me or whatever. Um, cause I'm, I don't scare easily when it comes to like big things, like almost getting hit by a car or some shit like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't get scared by it, you know, stuff like that, but it's just like really major changes. But I also like to embrace them though, right away. Like I need to know right away. Cause if that's what way it was going, then I need to be able to prepare. So again, I, I'll do em embrace them. Um, but again, something this large, this magnitude, this almost like a death in a family, you know what I'm saying? Um, some of this stuff that I feel like I'm about to go through. So, and I don't want to be it like I'm clinging on to some, you know what I'm saying? I want to, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I got some things that I want to do. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So it's like a big girl kind of thing, you know? So yeah, anybody, and I feel like that too. I feel like a lot of these things about me that I feel other feminine energies went their readings or whatever were targeting on were things that, again, all these divine entities and then the real soulmate in my real life already knew about me when they came in. So it's not like the other way around. And again, I didn't ask for this. It was given to me, you know what I'm saying, that way. So you see what I'm saying? So it's not like, I was out looking for some particular thing. Yeah. So again, it's just like, it's just something. It's just something I can't explain. And it's something that's like, man, this is like on a whole nother level, but it, it had the power to also manipulate things in my life. So that's, again, where I have to question, like I said, at first, how this was fitting in, what was it really to do? Is it really just something to push me off of my path and then have me sitting on my ass, you know, knocked on my ass, you know? Or was this something, that, again, to help me in another way? So again, it kind of did both, actually. But it's almost like also to uh, some, like, a illusion almost and to, like, give you the, uh, like, a illusion of something that's actually probably not going to happen. You know, and I feel like there's some deep rooted stuff that I don't know. And I feel like, again, on my end, maybe other people's are different, but it was very minimal regardless. It was very minimal for me because I always felt like there is some kind of blockage or something. Or it, again, you know, even if it's the, me not having the know-how, you see what I'm saying? 
But it's, it's like, why did it last this long? Then somebody must have been benefiting off of it for it to last this long. And for me, it was just those uh, things when it comes to growth. And if it was only just that, that's all, you know what I'm saying? I thought it was in the first place. So it's like, um, I accept that and I can keep it moving. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't going to lie and say that, like, it's, it's not like a... Uh, it wasn't at some point in time like a wish for fit. Like it was the only thing on my mind. I couldn't think about nothing else. I'm like, oh my goodness. And then I'm just like, oh, I like this. I like that. I like this. I like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, do I? Is that you that I'm sensing when I'm sensing that? Oh, I like that. No, like it's just like this kind of thing like this. Why am I hearing that <laughs> yummy, yummy, yum? <laughs> but it's just like that. Like I want that conversation. I want that. You know what I'm saying? I want to, you know, like this is what it was. So. Again, for me, it was hard to decipher, and I didn't. I was always like not wanting to even put more into it because, again, my situation, and then also because, you know, I don't know who else low key energy was around, and and sucking in that, and then thinking that they welcome to come into my energy, and that's not the case. Because really. Yeah. At this point in time where I'm going through this healing process with these major things that are going on right now, um, there's only one. It's like, you know what? Admit it to yourself. You see what I'm saying? Say it to yourself. Besides what I got going on in the real world, there's only one person's energy that I ever wanted my energy anyway. <laughs> so it's just like that. So I'm just like, okay, well, you know, let's go on ahead and, you know, start processing the letting go. You know what I'm saying? It seems like, you know, something is at a standstill or, you know, I mean, half the time, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, during this, I was getting like signs that, you know, like maybe something even happened to this person. So, you know, it was more traumatic things I feel happened with the twin flame thing for me. Then I don't know everybody else story sounds so fun and everything but for me it was a lot of tra so maybe it was like kind of be like, kind of trying to be like a trauma bond thing you know and I feel like again at some point in time this masculine I feel did like seeing me a little frustrated or aggravated because I feel like it makes me a little bit more creative sometimes but I don't know what happened I stopped getting that way maybe it's some fire or something energy I don't know Oh, yeah. And then I started trying to focus on, you know, things I need to do again to move forward with like a uh, business or whatever and things like that. But anyway, so I'm just having a good time. Like I said, I'm just like, whatever. OK, and this is one of them days where I just need to take and take my energy right up on out of everything and come on up in, up in here by myself and just chill for a minute. And so that's where I'm at. And just take it in and cry and laugh and do whatever I need to do by myself. I'm kind of mad that they don't have a USB thing up in here. I'm probably about to be asking to cha change rooms in a minute because I'm going to be watching Discovery of Witches. <laughs> I think it comes out today. And I just want to, like, chill. And just, yeah. So... Anyways, y'all, that's it. So that's all I think I want to be talking about. I ain't going to say that because, you know, this YouTube, you say something and people hold you to it and everything like that. But let's just keep it there. For me, in my situation only, I'm just saying, it's starting to feel like maybe it wasn't something that was for me or maybe it was all an illusion or maybe it just is what it is. And I'm okay with that. I feel like I've already processed, just like this whole thing with all this really traumatic stuff that's going on. It's like source put like a sedative, <laughs> like there's a tranquilizer or something or a sedative because it's like you ain't going to be able to handle that. But I think that, again, a lot of people might misjudge me. Even me. <laughs> so we'll see. I know, all I know is I'm just happy and I'm excited and I'm just like, whatever it is, it's going to be. All right. So again, <laughs> I will see you guys soon. Um, 
I don't know. I'm not promising that I'm not going to open up the Bible or talk, you know what I'm saying? Probably come back later. But for right now, I just wanted to talk about that. I just wanted to put that there. Because again, it, 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 we, we are in a time of this so-called lawlessness and these traditions and stuff killing freedom. So again, it is what it is. It's just, it's going to always be that way. It's just what it is. And I feel like me even saying that, it, it makes me, it puts me in a situation where, again, there's always been that one and then in the beginning and then the next, right? And then who I have, had, had, uh, whatever, in real life. And it's like, that's hard for somebody. Shit. It's, but but really most of the time it was just like a like a collaboration kind of thing or a half ass or something. It wasn't until I said, wait a minute, hold on, the hell on. What is this feeling? <laughs> and it just like that. And so again, that could be like dangerous for my heart. It can be really bad for my heart. And especially if, if if I'm like, Source, you got to be playing with me. You going to do this to me like this. And then you going to tell me that this is not even nothing that's probably going to occur in the 3D. Along with all this other stuff. Are you serious? <laughs> like, why would you do? You ain't. Listen. <laughs> that's what it feel like. But at the same time, that's another story. Because it's almost like, to be honest with you, it's challenging and it's sad and it's scary because it's like, almost like this journey took me away from like, I don't know if y'all remember, I had to think back of the whole energy of the wife of God. Energy, right? But then it just took over. I'm just thinking like, damn, this could only be like a situation where this could be probably Lucifer or something. That this shit is this strong. But then I said, no. Or maybe this could be a living God situation or what the hell is this? Mm -hmm. But it seemed like I was somewhere else in the beginning. <laughs> Something occurred. Right? Maybe a step down or a step away. And then another step away. But the, the last step was, okay, where first, if it was in that wife of God, like that introduction to this type of information, just this particular way. For a long time, I didn't know that that's exactly what I was doing. This is what I asked for years ago when I wanted to know the truth and when I started to dig and do all the research. I didn't really realize that when I was in my living room that day and I was like, God, <laughs> if you're there, I need to know something. And then that's when I started saying, mm, you know, all these things about, oh, I bet, you know, this, this and that. And I bet this and this. And then, and then so I started going into information or whatever like this. And then I was having like problems with sleeping and stuff like that and stuff like that. too. So, you know, I was going through a lot of like health problems and stuff like that around that time. But then, you know, um, yeah, after that, I feel like something happened where something like lit up in my body or whatever. And that's when I feel like, again, I knew who it was. 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 I don't know how, why, but it just manifested first mind. And then it came to this and came to that. And then I started to listen to this and see this and see that. And I said, that's that. That's, that's him. And then, again, something happened where that just, and then, again, just, it's like uh, I was in the scripture and it was saying something about I'm a, uh, sent another person and there was that prophecy about your you know your first father did something wrong or whatever um and also all this stuff and then me with the whole mother earth energy and saying you know i'm calling my son of the north you know what i'm saying so again all those things made me feel like again 
um, and even stories saying in the Bible, I'm going to send my son to the north. So again, with God, again, may God or whatever. So it started to make me think, okay, so this is where we're at. And, you know, so like that, that kind of energy. And then once that just happened, then that just stayed. If I could be honest. But I would never be able to really dog out any of the energies. Because, again, I appreciate all of them. And, again, they are my, <laughs> you know. I don't know how they look at me, but whatever. I, I appreciate everything that came from them. And then also, you know, a feminine energy as a guiding star. So we got Taurus, Gemini, Virgo, so, uh, Scorpio, and Taurus. And I'm sure there's others. Yes, I know there's others. But I feel like those were the main influential, those were like the main wires or whatever. And then again, at first I thought, again, the, uh, the Scorpionic energy was more uh, sent in by uh, the god verting forces. You know what I'm saying? So again, it was kind of like skeptical a little bit for me. So it would be just like really, that's the energy that, you see, and that's what's wrong. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's like a walk on the wild side or something. But again, not wanting to be too specific because again, like I said, I don't know who's who dealing with who, what, what got going on, but I know what it was. So, um, yeah, that's it. So I'll see you guys later. Take care. Mm-hmm.